Welcome to Sitam Church Online. This is Karita Mbagara, the Deputy Bishop of Christ is the Answer Ministries. I'm also the Senior Pastor at Sitam Woodley. I don't know whether you are like me, that there are some passages you read in the Bible and you wonder why they are there. One of those passages is the book of Romans chapter 16, verse 1 to 16. The other day I was reading that passage and I was wondering uh, what it is all about because it's a list of names that Paul is appreciating. But as I was meditating on it, I was surprised to find quite a number of lessons that I will share. The first thing that I saw is that Paul was appreciating people who had worked with him. And I realized that appreciation has its place in the word of God and I also noted that he was appreciating them according to what they had done. And I realized God is also going to be appreciating us in the final analysis for what we have done. See, the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10, that God is not unjust. He will not forget the things that we have done but he, and we continue to do. He will reward every job that we have done. And I realized that uh, also the angels are busy recording the things that we are involved in, the things that we do for the kingdom of God. And that, you know, made me start wondering, what is it that the angel that follows me records? And it is the same challenge that I want to pose to you. What is it that the angel that follows you as a Christian is recording about your service. Paul may not have, you know, remembered everybody, but God will not forget, I mean, will not forget anybody. All the people will be known. In the book of Revelation, chapter 20, it does say that we will all stand before the judgment uh, throne of God, and we will give an account for what we have done. It also says that books will be opened with the record of the things that we did, our works. And how will your page be like? How will my page be like? What is it that will be read in that book? So that passage started provoking such ideas. And I started thinking it is time that I took what I am doing very seriously. And I want to encourage you also to do the same. But also, I noticed that because of what these people had done, their names were recorded in the book of God. They are in the Bible for what they did. Some actually, they are just said to have been friends of Paul that supported Paul in his ministry. But they are in the book of God. And that book is a permanent record. And I realized that also, in the same way, there is a record, a permanent record that is being said, or rather that is being kept of the things that we do and of the things that we say. In the book of Malachi, it does say that uh, God opened the book of remembrance and he saw the things that people had said. And the people that had said nasty things about God were judged. But the people that had said good things about God were blessed. So I started realizing that we are being called not just to do, but also to be careful with the words that we use. What is it that you've been speaking about your leaders? What is it that you've been speaking about your colleagues, about your spouse, about your children? There is a record that is being kept in God's book and you better be careful of what you are involved uh, in as far as speech is concerned. But the other thing that I also noted, other than that it's a record, it's a permanent record, there will be a payment day, so there will be a reward that will be given, is that uh, I noticed that uh, there were different kinds of work that were being carried out. The people that are recorded in that uh, book were not doing the same work. In other words, there is variety of what we could be involved in. 
Some of us could be preachers like I'm, I am doing just now, but others will be involved in social action. Others will be involved in governance. Others will be involved in helps, you know, helping others. Others will be bringing up children. But all these are things that God is looking for, you know, uh, or rather is expecting us to be involved in. And so you can't say, because I am not preaching, I don't have anything that I can be commended or rewarded for. There is variety in terms of what we can do. The other thing that I also noticed is that the list comprises of men and women. You cannot give the excuse of gender. Whether you're a man or a woman, you can be involved in the work of God. Whether you are giving hospitality or whether you're preaching as a man or as a woman, there will be a reward for it. At the end of it, it reminded me what somebody said somewhere, that we are called to serve God using our heads, the things that we think. We are to serve God with our hearts. What is it that impassionates us or passionates us? What is it that causes us to arise and, uh, you know, jump up like a calf because we are excited doing it, but we are also to serve God with our hands. So the actions matter. So what you think about God will influence how you feel, your commitment. It will influence your heart. But more than that, it will influence your conduct. And I want you to examine your heart. And if the heart is not right, check to what is it that you are feeding your mind. And uh, if they are right, you will see that also what you are involved in doing, the, th or the places you go, the things that you do, will be consistent with that. And remember that that can motivate you because there will be a reward. God is just and will reward us for everything that we have done in his kingdom. May the Lord bless you as you do that. I look forward to hearing from you. Leave a comment, and if this is a blessing, share it with your friends. And uh, you could also subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. If your notification is not yet on, put it on so that every time we put up a video, you are notified that there is something for you. God bless you, and have a great time.